This is Jordan with MyMediaTutorials.com and I'm going to teach you a little bit about transparencies and some masking. This is going to be the masking part of, uh, of two parts. The second part will be transparencies. And we're going to show you how to um, make this car look like it's on this background, kind of like this. That's more of a finished product right there. Uh, not perfect, but it's uh, that's just a quick draft. So, first off, let me, uh, let me get rid of these other layers. And... Um, so we start out with a car. You can have any background. It doesn't have to be this white background on your car because, you know, you could have taken a picture of your own car or just found this nice supercar on the Internet like most people would. So this is for use like if you didn't want to put a plain car on your background of your desktop, you could just put it on this nice picture of a street since a picture of a street would be kind of useless on a desktop. So let's get started. We're going to be masking out these windows. That's the part we're going to mask in the tutorial. So what we're going to do is uh, apply a mask just go by this button. Once you're selected on this layer, you click this button at the bottom, and you'll see that this mask pops up. And uh, we're going to go to our brush tool, and since our default color is already black, you may have to switch it to black. Make sure it's black, your um, foreground color that is. And we're just going to be color in, coloring in these uh, windows here. Make sure to get rid of any mistakes you may make. Not too difficult of a task. I'm just going to do a quick job. You can do a little better of a job. I'm not going to. I'm just kind of rushing it because I have to fit this in the size of YouTube video. <laughs> Make the brush a little bigger. Here we go. A little bit more over here. Again, I'm doing this very quickly. Please do a better job than this if you want a better turnout. There we go. Now you got all that um, masked out, and you can see through to the background to there. And um, well, we're gonna make it look a little better. As you can see, it doesn't look great like that. So we are gonna actually go to while still on this layer mask, we're gonna go to the um, image adjustments. A brightness and, contra and contrast, and we're going to check this use legacy box, and we're going to up the contrast a bit. Now you can see that it's starting to fill in with white again. That's exactly what we want. Put it all the way up at 100, and you got more realistic looking windows. Of course they have these white edges because I didn't do a great job on it, but um, hopefully you don't have those. So there you have masked windows. We're gonna, now we're going to move on to the uh, transparencies part of this tutorial. So we're going to actually, first we're going to select your car again, not, not, the, uh, not the mask. So click on the thumbnail. And we're going to make a uh, shadow first. And this can be done a number of ways, but pretty much you want to select an area. I'm just going to get the quick selection tool and um, select all this shadowing piece here. Once I got most of the shadow, I'm just going to press Control J, and that'll copy it to a new layer, as you can see right here. But uh, of course, you can't really see it because it's not much to look at. But I'm going to drag it under this uh, under our car layer, the shadow layer under our car layer, and I'm just going to change it uh, the blend mode to multiply. Or I may I may change it to darken later on to see what it looks like. Yeah, multiply should work. And you can see that that's the shadow. Now we have the car on top of that. We need to get rid of this white area. How are we going to do that? We're just going to use the eraser tool. This is the primary tool for transparencies. You could use the fill tool and set it to the mode clear, but you would end up getting rid of parts of the car, such as this right here, because it is white, and you would fill in the white, and it would get rid of that and you don't want to do that so just uh, get your eraser tool set it to about size well whatever size you want 75 percent hardness is a good hardness for this and um, make sure you're selected on that layer we're just gonna start 
erasing the bulk out of the top and bottom and around. We'll get into the details in a minute, but um, especially around these fenders, all, all you have to do is actually, um, I ended up not changing that to multiply. There we go. Back to multiply. Now that we're on this layer again. So you can actually erase under these fenders and you can see the shadow already but make sure you don't get rid of the fender because uh, it's a black fender underneath and it's not the most attractive fender. So, just uh, you can do the same thing on the sides. You can er erase a little bit. See, it saves you a little time doing that little shadow layer. Of course, your photo may not be a car. It could be something else that would not have a shadow like this, but this particular photo happens to have one, so I'm going to use it. Get into a little fine tuning when you zoom in. Pay attention to the detail. You wanna you wanna get as close to the car as you can. You can even get a little bit off of the car just to avoid having that white glow on the outside. I'm gonna zoom out again and get some more of this uh, bulk from the uh, top up here. Big brush. <laughs> now we're gonna zoom in, get some more of these little details. This is pretty much uh, a long process, but it, it it's so worth it in the end, usually. Not always. <laughs> I have been disappointed with my results before. Just be careful not to erase any parts of the car. You may want to zoom out and make sure that what you are erasing is not a little detail, because sometimes it can be difficult. Of course, on a, a person it is even more difficult than a vehicle, because the background will often blend in with pieces of hair and whatnot, so it is actually kind of difficult to remove certain objects, but hopefully you'll do fine with with this technique. It's more for straight lines and stuff. But I'm not going to bore you with it. Pretty much what I did was go all the way around and it ended up looking like this. So. There you go. There you have it. You got a um, a nice looking uh, vehicle with a shadow under it, and it's on the new background. You can tell I did a little bit more detail in the windows here. Um, but there's one more thing that I did that you'll want to do, possibly, to get rid of some of that white glow. What I did on this layer here was I added an effect, I added an inner glow, and I'll show you what happens when I disable that. Watch my uh, edges of my car while I uncheck this. You'll see that they turn white, whiter when I uncheck this. I made this inner glow, not an inner glow, but an inner multiply, actually. What I did was I set the inner glow to um, the blend mode multiply, and I changed the color to um, this orange, but then I just dragged it a little lower, um, a darker orange. So as you can see, it uh, made it more um, a darker edge. And then I changed the size up to 8 pixels, but you can adjust that depending on the size, the range. I put all the way up, and uh, the choke was still at zero. And make sure it's on edge, technique softer, press OK. And uh, there you go. You have that um, little technique I put in uh, for making the edges look a little more realistic. And as you can see, especially here, you can tell that if I didn't have that on, it looks a lot more sketchy. It doesn't look as real. It also adds a little more definition having that um, that glow. Um, but one thing about it that you may want to take concern is in these windows. Uh, let me. You can see that in the windows, it does um, it does tend to make it a little more uh, transparent, which you may not want. You may want those nice white windows, whitish windows, and of course, uh, you may want even darker windows. Who knows? But it basically just adds that orange glow. But uh, but it did uh, did its job, and you have a working car on a street and. That will be the end of our tutorial for now. Um, check out our website, mybeatedtutorials.com, for more uh, tutorials on Photoshop and other other programs. We've got a lot of upcoming events, and we also have news and reviews now. You can check our homepage for the uh, top news, which um, which we update weekly. So, thanks for watching.